Hello, Gemini and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your love reading. If you like the reading, please be sure to like and just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left -hand corner of the uh, on the bottom of the video there uh, by doing so any future videos that i post they'll just come up on your feed so you can see any future readings okay now this reading may or may not resonate with you this is a general reading uh, be sure to check your moon rising and venus if it does not okay? so let's get started gemini Okay, Gemini, so we do have an Earth sign here. We do have uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We also have Fire, which is Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. Um, more Earth, we have Air signs, which could be Libra, Gemini, or uh, Aquarius, Aquarius energy. Gemini. So the underlining energy here is going to be the wheel of fortune. So that is um, good luck. It is blessings. And it also means that you may want the wheel to start turning. You may want, you know, things to kind of go into motion. So we see here the Ten of Pentacles, which is a beautiful card. It means money coming in through a spouse or partner, okay? So your person, um, you may be very, you know, financially well off with your person, Gemini, okay? But this is clarified by the Ten of Swords, which means that this might come to an end, Gemini. Um, this, you know, money coming in through your, your person may be coming into it to an end. Um, but it is good that it's coming to an end because the Ten of Swords means ruin, but it also means blessings after that happens. So it may be better for you that this, that this ends, okay? Now, um, again, this is Earth Energy. So we have uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then here we have... Um, uh, air signs, which can mean a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, and this is, you know, how you're feeling right now. You feel like this, or maybe you have fear that this may come to an end, that this financial blessing through your partner may come to an end. Could mean that too. And again, this can be vice versa, Gemini. Um, now we do have the five of wands here. Okay. So wands does represent communication it can represent travel um but it does seem like there's going to be a bit of fighting here there's going to be a little bit of strife overcoming maybe competition um and it is clarified by the six of cups so this worries me because i feel like you're in competition with an x here gemini i see competition with an x so this can be the competition is uh wands so that could be fire leo sagittarius aries energy um cups is a water sign cancer scorpio pisces energy so we can be dealing with one of those but uh gemini i do see that you're very insecure here and that there may be an ex now this could be your ex coming in it could be your partner's ex coming in it could be your person's ex coming in but um something is definitely threatening your relationship here gemini definitely um we have the devil card here, which is restriction, okay, addiction, obsession, all right, Some, something's going on, and it is clarified with the lover's card, so I feel like either your person is obsessed with this ex, Gemini, or this ex is obsessed with, um, your partner with with your with your with your person okay this is decisions um it is a deep soulmate connection but when it's you know next to the devil like this this tells me that there's an obsession going on a, a serious attraction an obsession almost like um you know your person either can't stop thinking about them or they can't stop thinking about your person but you know right now the energy that i'm getting is that you're you know with someone gemini you're very well off with this person financially you're very happy with them um, but this might come to an end. I see a lot of fighting. I see a lot of strife here. I see a definite X. I see obsession. Um, 
but you're trying to hold on. You're trying to hold on to this. This is Capricorn, uh, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. You are trying to hold on. You feel like this person is your soulmate. Um, and the, the wands here, uh, 1111 is, you know, you, you feel like they're your soulmate. You're trying to hold on as hard as you can, Gemini. You really are. Um, so we have earth energy here. We also have fire. We could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, now the 10 of pentacles is clarified by the queen of wands, which again is fire sign. Okay. So we have earth and fire here. Uh, so this could be you, this could be the third party, you know, uh, that's threatening this relationship because here, if we look, if we look at them in a row here, we have the queen of wands, we have the financial stability and we have ruin. Okay. With the five of wands, somebody is stealing something from you here. So this could be the third party. If we could, the third party energy could be, uh, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be, but it can be, but I feel like definitely that's the person that's threatening this financial stability that you have with your person. All right. That's the, the feeling that I get there. Now here we have the temperance card. Uh, that's going to be clarifying the five of wands. Okay. So this means that you, the negotiation needs to take place here. There has to be some balance here. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of strife. And, and you're really, again, you're trying to hold on Gemini. You feel like this person is your soulmate. So you're trying to balance out your emotions. You're trying to figure out how to overcome this. And of course, the next card here, um, clarifying the devil card, we have the seven of wands. You're trying to fight this Gemini. You're trying to, you know, you see this as competition and you're fighting, you're fighting for it. You're fighting for you. You're holding on to this. You want this, this person. You want this person. You feel, you feel here. The four of pentacles is being clarified by the nine of cups. You feel like this person is your wish fulfillment. They are all that you want. You feel like they are your soulmate, Gemini, and you don't want to let it go. You don't want this to come to ruin. You don't. Um, but this X is a very real competition for you, Gemini. And I'm sorry, I, I, it can be vice versa. It, it can be, I know it can be, and that might resonate for some of you, but, um, I do feel like that's your energy. Okay. But we do have, you know, the overall energy is, you know, blessings, good fortune, and you want the wheel to move forward. So again, I do feel as if you feel very confident about this. You're not letting go. You're not letting go. You feel like this is your soulmate and you feel like he is, he or she, your person is all that you want. And you are going to fight this ex. You're going to stand your ground, Gemini. You're going to stand your ground. The devil is not going to come in between your relationship. You know, the, the, this ex here, this obsession, you're, you, you are really going to fight. Um, now, here we have the Ten of Swords, which, again, this is air energy, okay? Air energy is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy being clarified by the Five of Swords, okay? So, as you can see here, the Five of Swords... Um, this is a fight that took place. You see them leaving, but you still want to continue fighting. You feel like something was taken from you. You feel like you were hurt and you know, you want to keep arguing with these people, but these people are walking away from you. All right. They are, they're walking away from you. And, um, you, you know, you feel like you want to keep fighting. As I said, you know, you're not giving up. You have very high hopes for this, very high hopes for this. Now, the Six of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Wands, uh, by the Nine of Wands. Now, Wands, again, is fire energy, okay? Um, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries energy. And here we have uh, Cups, which is water, okay? So I feel like you're trying to block this X. You see this fence that you put up, this wall? You're trying to block this X. I'm telling you, Gemini, you are not joking. You are going to fight for this relationship. This relationship brings you financial stability. Um, this is somebody that, you know, you, you possibly, you love very much, but this is, you know, you have something very serious coming in between here. And this, you know, either your person is obsessed with the ex or the ex is obsessed with this person and, and you're going to hold your ground, Gemini. I mean, look, you're, you're blocking the ex, you're blocking them. You're going to do whatever you can to block it. Now you have the lover's card here that is clarified by the king of 
Wands, okay? Now, again, I feel like this is your person, Gemini, because the King of Wands is a very free-spirited person. Um, he's, you know, someone who's traveled the world, always has a good story to tell, very responsible person. Now, Wands does also mean work, career, finance, it can mean career, okay? So this is, you know, I feel like this ties into this, that this is your person, that this is either, you know... Um, you know, this is someone that brings you financial stability. They make you feel stable, okay? They make you feel very stable. And um, you love that about them. Now, here we have your the Four of Wands, which, again, is communication, soulmate, energy, I feel here. And um, you have the Knight of Wands, okay? You have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, um, again, very stable person, um, very similar to the King of Wands here. Again, it could be a fire energy. But the problem is, Gemini, he's on his horse and he's galloping. The question is, is he galloping away from you, Gemini, or towards you? That is the question. I mean, you're hopeful. You're hopeful that it's going to be towards you. Um, but, you know, is he galloping towards, you know, this person here? You know, or is he galloping towards, you know... The soulmate energy is he galloping towards you? I, you know, let's see if we can get a little bit of clarification here. Yeah, see, under you're hopeful, Gemini, but right underneath this card is the Eight of Swords. You're scared, Gemini. You're scared. You're really trying to remain hopeful. You're really fighting, Gemini. You are, but you're scared. Deep down inside, you're really scared. You feel like something's going on behind your back. You feel like there's secrets. You feel trapped. Um, you know, you feel scared. You're hope you know, on the outside, you're really gonna fight. You have a lot of hope. You feel like you want to hold on. You feel like you're ready to fight for this relationship. You feel like this is your soulmate. Um, but you're scared. You're scared, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what uh the romance angels have to say for Gemini. Forgiving and learning. Keep an open mind. Very soon. All right, let's see here. So the energy here is this could be the one, okay? You've already met the partner that you seek. As I said, Gemini, you really feel like your person is your soulmate. You feel like they're your soulmate. You feel like they are your wish fulfillment. They are all that you could have ever wished for in a man. They give you stability. They give you love. And you do not want to let go, Gemini. You do not want to let go of this person. You're going to fight for them. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay? So, you know, you have to understand, Gemini, that even if you win this, even if he does ride towards you, you're going to be very hurt by this, Gemini. You're going to be very hurt that you that someone that you love so much allowed this ex to come in and cause so much strife in your relationship. It's going to when everything dies down, it's going to hurt you. And if you if you're going to continue the relationship, you're going to have to find it in your heart to really forgive. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Again, you did not expect this person to be your soulmate but they bring you that financial stability there's someone that you want to hold on to they're all that you could have ever wanted in a person you feel like they're your soulmate and you're willing to protect it you you have fear you you're hopeful okay but you have a lot of fear that this is going to come to ruin you have fear that this is all going to come crashing down Okay, and I mean, look at this guy here. This is your person. Okay, I mean, just great guy sitting there. Look how he's leaning forward, ready to tell a story. Um, not a care in the world. Great guy, fun loving, very responsible, stable in work and career. I mean, he's a good person. She's a good person. Okay, your partner is a good person. Definitely someone worth fighting for, I feel. Um, but then we have here very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, you're hopeful. You're manifesting, Gemini. You're manifesting. You're really willing to, you know, you're not willing to let go. You're willing to fight. You will, even if they walk away, you're willing to keep fight, fighting. You're not going to let this devil come in between your love. Okay? You, you really, you know, I, I'm, 
So I'm not sure. Maybe we could try to clarify this here. I'm not sure which way he's, he or she is going to go. I don't know what direction he or she is going to go. But you're hopeful. You're manifesting that it's that it's coming back to you. Okay. Can we get some clarification on the Knight of Wands? Can we get some clarification on the Knight of Wands? The Knight of Wands. Can we get some clarification? Is the Knight of Wands going towards? Can we get some clarification on the Knight of Wands? So the clarification card that came out here is justice. So that means that whoever your person goes towards Gemini, it's going to be in their mind fair. It's going to be whoever they feel deserves their love and attention. Okay. And that does scare me a little bit because either they're obsessed with them or their that ex is obsessed with them and they may feel that either they love them more or, or that, that that ex loves them more than you do. Um, you have the sun here, growth and recovery. So, yeah, I don't know. The two of cups. So clarifying the knight of, of wands here they're going to go to whoever they feel treats them the best and it's they're going to grow and recover from it and they're going to this is the person that they're going to be with you have the two of cups here this is going to be a marriage engagement deeper commitment um you know deeper commitment whoever they choose i mean is going to be there so it's going to be the the person that they that they want that they feel is for them you know there's no way for us to really know. Yeah, see the underlining energy there is the five of pentacles, which means somebody gets left out in the cold. Somebody gets left out in the cold, Gemini. There's a fear there of losing someone that you love. All right, well, again, if uh, if it does resonate with you, Gemini, you know, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, please check your moon rising and uh, Venus sign, okay? Best of luck to you. Again, if you enjoyed the reading, please be sure to click the subscribe button to see any future posts. For a little more insight, you can book me for a personal reading. The information is in the description box below. Have a great day, guys.